What's up everyone? It's Jan Boris, new video, Denmark focus, Firen Flame, Ove Ospo Hinanden. I have no clue what I just said, but let's talk about it. Well, and let's talk about this performance. Like lots of you know, who especially watched this video, that I wasn't a big fan of Danish MGB selection this year. I think the quality of it was just a bit lower than the rest and I just don't know why and why did they choose it. Maybe I will figure it out one day in my Humans of Eurovision. Maybe there's a plan or master plan behind it or what to bring, what to deliver and first I heard this crazy 80 synth song like discotheque, schlager, mixture, whatever and I saw it uh, without a live performance I was like God, that, like this is just wrong. This, this, it's not the way I would go with Eurovision, and it's the way everybody will just, you know, make fun of it. And then I saw the, then I saw the show, and I was like, first second I was like, this is such, just such a joke. But then I was like, but this is such a kind of good joke. Like those guys doesn't really take it seriously and took it seriously. They just had fun on stage together with kind of quality performance delivered you know it just makes sense and if you just go outside of it like that the song is not that great that you just say like maybe for a specific audience it is actually very great you know for the color and flavor of the contest to have this at the contest it's not bad it's it's a kind of music which lots of people like to listen and I think even like younger generation, you know, a specific genre which has its fans and has this kind of uplifting feeling with it. The only thing I I struggle a bit to listen the whole performance. It's too long for me. It seems too long. And I think that that's actually the biggest problem of the song than the song itself. It's It just feels too long than expected because I could focus like for two minutes and think about how kind of fun it actually is or even kind of enjoyable but then I just lose my focus and that's maybe my only problem but on the other hand you know the second semi-final this is this is going to be like I think it's going to be super hard to predict who's going in as maybe we we will see a lot of surprises as maybe few of those different style songs will make it through even i think in normal time this song wouldn't ever be a contender at this year quality level and diversity of styles and flavors this actually stand a chance to go through because it's definitely not non-quality song it's just different kind of genre and the genre i am not a big fan of so maybe put it in this perspective it's not a bad choice in well would i vote for it well still we don't know all of those songs for the semi-final but i wouldn't choose it but do i understand that it won national selection in denmark absolutely absolutely the performance just was good it was really nice and i like this quirkiness and don't give a damn about it and just just you know full throttle kind of style just let's do it let's let's do it 100 percent how it should be and that happened but i'm really curious if if this is going through the really specific semi-final too what do you think guys let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe the channel to share this video thumbs up like the video please and tell your friends that this channel exists i think you deserve a just a bit different angle of a view and maybe a different approach. Well, let's see you next time. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.